channel my name is Brittany if you're new here but if you're not new here hey sister girl welcome back we're gonna go charge my car I'm at 32% but I just feel like it's Thursday I want to get my charge in I want to make sure that I'm full like for the weekend and yeah my girl Liz is coming over tomorrow Friday night we're gonna have a little girls night I don't even know where we're gonna go but we're gonna go somewhere we're gonna be out in the street so we'll see where we end up going but yeah girl to today drained me because i don't know what it is with me right now that i'm like <laughs> i physically cannot work like it's just insane i feel like my because my job is so like on the computer screen it has been giving me like let me turn my blinker off because the screen time like on my computer at work for some reason has just been draining me sister like i physically can't look at the screen any longer hello who the light just turned green who's honking like please relax but we're already here the chargers are not too far from where i'm at so you know we gotta go charge it up and some people ask me like oh do your apartments have chargers like why do you go to the superchargers girl because i love a supercharger like i i hate that when you charge your car like at home or like you know whatever it takes hours i love a quick 30 minute full charge and because i'm at 32 percent, my charge is probably going to be like 20 minutes so it should be good girl but i don't know i just prefer it i think it's a vibe i feel like i can sit in the car watch something and just get it done quick rather than like plugging it in and waiting eight hours so anyways Girl, you better come over here and take this shot with me. Oh, it's super cold. That it's cold. I know. It's like ice cold. Mm -hmm. I can't even taste it. Yeah. Girl, ah! what do you want? <laughs> she said, I can't even taste it. <laughs> Hold on, give me another one. Finish it off. Now she's almost <laughs> done with her drink. Can you put a water pitcher in the water? Can I? 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 Can the pool's color model. Girl, no, you're not trying to go to the pool I'm right now. So Liz is trying to go swimming, girl. <laughs> Bestie, we're at Target. Oh my God, yesterday I went to a comedy show with the barber. We went on a date. Um, I didn't vlog it or anything like not for you guys here on YouTube or tiktok or instagram or anything because i was living in the moment okay your girl got drunk very not demure very not cutesy oh my god but at least you know what if a man is gonna <laughs> if a man is gonna want to be with you he's gonna need to accept you for the good the bad and the ugly <laughs> it got a little ugly but it 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 wasn't that bad still got cute still had a really good night um but tell me why i'm in the crowd right and he not these people fighting oh my god everyone relax it's sunday 123 like let's just be chill but oh no he's getting off oh they're fighting they're fighting what girl what is going on girl the drama ensuing here at target is crazy okay so this car stole a spot from another car it was a lady and then the guy who it was his spot he was waiting for it he like got off his car and told her like hey what the hell 
and so she backed up and gave him the spot and then this other guy metiche over here like on this side saw it go down so he gets off and starts yelling at the guy who told the girl to get out of my spot does that make sense girl that's crazy it's wild it's actually wild um is this guy gonna go because there's so many people behind me they're probably like girl what are you doing uh this guy's over here being nosy like brother anyways girl that drama is crazy but okay so we're at the comedy show and the barber gets uh what is it like uh like early access tickets or whatever i don't know so the point is that we're like first and we go in and we sit like not on the stage but like in the next row behind it so i'm fully exposed i was like and i haven't been to comedy shows but i know damn well they like to roast people who are in the front so i was like oh my god if they roast me i'm literally gonna kill myself so i said that to him too he's like baby they're not gonna roast you blah 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 okay they didn't roast me but they did call me out a little bit because they were talking about couples and then there was this one couple sitting in the front and they were like oh how long have you guys been together and he was like 33 years he was like damn and then he asked the next couple like how long have y'all been together and he was like 32 years and he's like ah just because you heard him say 33 now you're like 32 years and we we're cracking up because i was like oh my god and then the point is that he gets to us me and the barber he's like how long have you guys been together and i was like one week <laughs> girl when i tell you everybody started laughing because he goes oh so y'all are just fucking everywhere you're blah 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 i was like oh my god and it was funny but then he started talking about um basic bitches and he was like yeah a basic bitch that um with her pumpkin spice latte and he's like she goes to target and she calls it tarjay like calling me out because it's tarjay because we're at tarjay oh my god but it was so funny we had so much fun i'm literally going in circles because i'm looking for a parking spot like but yeah girl we had fun i'm obsessed with him clearly and i hate that i keep talking about it but this is my life and it's honeymoon phase okay let me live uh, let me live and be obsessed but we're at target right now as you can tell by all of this drama going on and i just got a spot period let's freaking go bestie we need to go to target my shower is quite literally drained like it started out as like a little drained clogged oh my god it started out as like a little clog where i saw some of the water was like building up when i was in the shower but now girl like nothing's going down like i'm showering in like a pool of water like it's just crazy so i need to go inside i need to get like draino or whatever it's called to like put in there so it can drain but it's clogged because I have so much freaking hair, like my hair and my extensions, I shed hair like crazy. So my drain is freaking clogged. And then after that, I need to get like some Clorox spray because I ran out and I need to do some cleaning because it's Sunday. But yeah, girl, let's just see what we can get. I might also want to get like some snacks because the barber's going to come and we're going to just hang out, watch TV, like chill Sunday, you know? So I want to get some snacks. And he told me what kind of snacks he likes. Like he likes like gummy candy. So we're gonna get him some gummy candy because my love language is gift giving. <laughs> Let's go girl, because I'm so down bad, it's actually unbearable. Well, I love that it's finally getting colder because I can wear my sweaters, my sweatpants, my Uggs, like this is the time of year that I thrive. I'm running low on my body butter, so I'm gonna restock. I need to get some of these face shavers too because girl, the mustache is going crazy right now. I think I'm gonna try out the shampoo and conditioner because my scalp is going crazy right now. Like I have scalp psoriasis and I feel like this would help. I usually get the Fair Breath because it's balm and it works really well, but girl, we're on a budget. $9, like that's insane. So I think I'm gonna get this huge one for $4.59. It should be the same thing. It's antiseptic, anti-gingivitis, anti-plaque. Yes, please. I'm gonna get some Clorox spray because I ran out and this one is my favorite. It smells so good. This bottle looks a little small, but I'm not sure how much I'm even supposed to use. But when I tell you my shower drain is clogged, girl, it is clogged. So let me just get this and see if it works. The price of these really kills me because they're so expensive, but they work so well. 
One of mine, I think, is broken, so I'm gonna get another one. Bestie, wouldn't this be like a cute little date night idea? I think I'm gonna get these so me and the barber can make some Halloween houses. yogurt especially the vanilla one and i don't have any so i gotta get some i'm gonna get some of these salads just because they're easy for lunch during the week at work a couple bananas i love the grapes especially like the mix of the green and the purple some hot cheeto puffs at a movie night goes crazy girl stop isn't this so freaking cute i have to get it so cute That was a very successful Target trip. We spent like 120 bucks, which is crazy. But honestly, I got a lot of fun things and I've been like not getting as much like fun stuff for a while. So it's pretty good, girl. Let's jam out, go home. And I wanted to get the sugar-free ones, but I wanted to share with the barber, and I didn't know if he wanted sugar-free. Girl, what you? Hello? Did you forget you have a stop sign, sir? I have not had a red Gatorade in forever, and when I tell you, it's hitting, and it's not even cold. And we're gonna throw this in the freezer. because I just be vibing like no one can see me. Quick little haul, bestie. You already saw what I got, but just a quick overview. Some salads for work, some yogurt, also for like work and breakfast and stuff, some bananas, some grapes. Girl, we are so healthy. JK, then we got some... <laughs> hot cheeto puffs but this is for me and my man just to grab on a little bit you know nothing crazy um some more body butter because i ran out this because i need to shave my face like what's going on so i got that clorox spray because i was running out gatorade that I, the one i drank in the car because girl, i could not wait i was dying of thirst these that i'm going to plug in right now these plugins are the bomb they do run out pretty quickly though which is kind of annoying because it's 15 bucks they're like five dollars each which is just hello which is insane um and then one of my little febreze plugins has lasted me forever but i think i left it plugged in with this ran out for too long and i think it like burnt out because it's not working anymore then at the checkout line i just added some protein shakes girl not this one being all dented what's going on but i love those you guys they're so good especially when like sometimes i come home and you guys are gonna be like okay it's giving eating disorder but it's not but it's not sometimes i come home and i'm like i don't feel like eating like I don't feel like eating dinner, so I'll just drink that instead. Think of it as a meal replacement, okay? Just think of it like that. This for my shower drain because it's clogged like I told you. We're gonna test it out and see. I'm not gonna show you because that's disgusting, but I'm gonna let you know if it works. And then I got some mouthwash, 
some shampoo and condish because I'm running out. I've never tried this Maui one before. I mean, I've tried the brand, but it was like in 2020 when they were kind of like trendy vibes. But now I haven't tried it in a long time, but this is for my scalp. This girl, my scalp psoriasis goes crazy. Like, look at this bralette. I'm about to put it on under this so then you can have like a little bit peeking out the shoulder. Isn't that cute? Pause, let's try it on. Girl, tell me this isn't cute. Like with the sweater on top. So freaking cute, honestly, under this because like you feel like a bum. I'm bumming it, I'm bumming it. But then, hello? No, you're not. So I think it's cute, girl. I'll link it down below, but I got it at Target. I think it was like 20 bucks. Steal. Sister, it's been like a full week since that last clip where I tried on the bralette for you guys. But we had the movie night. The barber came over. It was really cute. And then um, we've just been hanging out ever since. But it's already Friday again. And I'm working from home because one, my throat hurts. Number two, last night we went to like a work bowling event. Why was it so much fun? We went there and then one thing about my coworkers, they like to drink. So we had some drinks and it's funny because my throat has been hurting for a few days, right? Let me, what is going on with this TV? It is too loud. My throat was hurting. So I was like, oh, I'm not gonna go. Like, I just don't feel like going. They were like, bitch, you're coming. So I went and it was a lot of fun. But tell me why I was like, okay, I'm gonna show up and just make an appearance so they can stop bugging me and then I'm gonna leave. Girl, why were we there till like 9, 10 p.m. and the event started at 4? So that was crazy and we were just drinking, having a good time. But it's really cool. Like I feel like it's nice because our job is so mentally freaking draining. Like it's just a lot. So it's nice when they have those work events and we can all just be together and have drinks and hang out and, you know, ha catch a vibe. So it was cool. But today is Friday, like I said, and we are going to Knott's Berry Farm or not scary farm, should I say, with the barber and his siblings. And I'm really excited. It's gonna be the first time that I meet his family. So your girl's nervous, I'm nervous. I'm like, I hope they like me. Like, and I feel like I get along with everybody. So I'm not really that like worried about that. I'm just nervy. I'm a little nervy because shit's getting real sister. But I really like him, obvi, as you can tell. But we're gonna go do that tonight. So I'm drinking an elderberry immunity tea and I've been drinking that for like the past three days. I'm lying, for like yesterday and today. But I'm doing it to help my sore throat because my throat hurts and I have a headache right now, but I think that's because I was drinking yesterday. So I'm kind of like in the middle, like I can't tell, like am I sick, am I not sick? Cause I don't feel sick, but I have like symptoms, like the sore throat and the headache, but yeah, and I kind of feel tired. But again, is that because I was drinking hella yesterday? Maybe. So I'm drinking a liquid IV and then the elderberry tea and we're going to stick through it. But it's like 10.40 a.m. right now and I was kind of just working a little bit. But girl, I can't hang. I can't hang. So I'm just going to hang out and then I have to pack my bag because since we're going to get home late from not Scary Farm and I live far from there, we're just gonna stay at the barbers so we're gonna have to um pack a bag but yeah girl that's what's going on i'm also editing this video so i can get it up because i know you guys want more youtube vlogs but yeah sister say hi to stormy he's being clingy per usual sister we're on our way and i was gonna film myself getting ready but i decided to make a freaking reel because one thing about me i love making reels like short form content just hits and i don't know what it is but i think it's so fun like to see the clips and put them together and do all that stuff you know i gotta film some stuff for my girls on the tube in 500 but feet i'm on my way to the barber's house my car is so extra for no reason like i see him braking just relax but we're about 23 minutes out and i'm a little nervy not to see my man i'm excited to see my man but um i'm nervous to like meet his family his family but it's gonna be fun i know it's gonna be really fun i'm honestly no you know like hello i'm fucking having a stroke right now what is really no, making me anxious like honestly is the fact that it's gonna be scary like i will watch a scary movie but to be at an actual like scary place where they're gonna try to scare like it's intentional for them to freak you out I feel like my stomach's already in my ass thinking about it. Like I'm such a baby for things like that. Girl, I'm gonna die. And my man wants to get on roller coasters. I'm like, brother, I don't know if I can do that because 
I'm scared and I'm gonna have to because I gotta listen I gotta be ride or die he wants to get on the roller coaster I gotta get on but I'm like oh my god I used to be like such a daredevil I guess like I used to love stuff like that and I still kind of do like if I go to Disneyland I like doing the Guardians of the Galaxy like I like that feeling of your stomach dropping but for some reason like an actual roller coaster like flying around that freaks me out and then he wants to go on one where your feet are hanging girl pray for me pray for me because honestly i'm freaking out but like i said i'm about 23 minutes out and i would have been there sooner but i literally keep jamming out to music and just forgetting where i'm going like i keep missing exits missing turns like it's actually kind of embarrassing how long um how long how many times i've like rerouted because this is crazy what not me passing my old high school like what is going on i went to high school um i went to montebello high school for a year i think it was like junior year or something like it was because i was being a bad kid so I, well half and half because i actually kind of begged my mom like i was just going through i was going through it girl and i was like i need a fresh start like mom please i need to go to another school so she was like bet you're gonna go move to la and you're gonna live with your aunt and you're gonna go to school out there and at first I was kind of like, oh, but then I was like, period, fresh start, like for sure. No one knows you, like it was a complete fresh start. And I loved it, honestly, like I did like it for a while, but then as time went on, I was like, the vibes here just not giving Moval. They're not giving Moreno Valley. So I wanted to go back and like be with my friends and stuff, but it was a cool experience. I still keep in touch with some of the people I went to school here, so that's crazy. Anyways, let's jam out to some music for the next 20 minutes till we get there, and then, yeah, we'll see how I survive at knots, girl, because I'm, I'm already freaking out. <laughs> I was caught up with my friends I forgot that we had plans So the roses on the floor And found the champagne by the door 